Hi, it's Alexa Weber Morales, and I want to share with you some things I've been reading lately. I made a pledge to myself a few years ago to read more books, and so I've been doing that ever since. Although I tend, to, I read a lot of fiction, but I also love how-to books. So the first one I read recently was The Talent Code. I read that on my phone, and then I bought The Little Book of Talent. This is a companion book, and I just love this. Um, both of these talk about talent hotbeds, and he studied and used a lot of scientific uh, material to discover how people form um, myelin in their neur around their um, that the the neural pathways for their skills and how you need to work in the sweet spot to acquire new skills. So it's really going to inspire you to practice whatever it is, sports or music or anything else, and um, real and puts to rest a lot of the concepts that talent is just something you're born with or you're a freak of nature or whatever. Um, now contrast that to The Big Ass Book of Bling. This is so cool. Um, this book has amazing projects in it. One of my favorite ones is something I would love to buy, which is a, um, I haven't found it yet, but it's a, oh, you can make these glass beads in your own microwave. There's a microwave kill. What a great concept. And then he also glues these little charms and makes cocktail rings and things like that. Just love it. I bought some of this E6000 glue and started using it to glue things. I've been having a great time with that. Um, here's another book, um, The Power of Story, or The Anatomy of Story by John Trudy. And I've been reading this extremely slowly. Um, but it really takes apart how movies and other concepts, um, other stories are put together. Um, and, uh, you know, whether they're love stories, adventures, journeys, the kind of gauntlets people go through, you know, facing death. It's really interesting. It makes you think more um, about how stories are put together. And I want to use this either in writing stories or writing songs. This is The Renegade Writer. I bought this, or I borrowed this from my friend Emily. Hi, Emily. And... Um, they returned it to her, but it's got some great ideas for pitching articles. It's um, So I was looking at it recently, and I did do a good job last year of um, pitching more of what I write, because I work as a musician and as a writer. And uh, this one I have not actually read. I've been meaning to read it. I got all obsessed about um, gun control, and so was reading this one about Don't Shoot. Um, it's by David Kennedy, and I think it talks about the ceasefire program. Um, and... Uh, sort of the cultural reasons behind why um, these teenagers are shooting themselves, shooting each other in gangs. Um, I didn't really like his style of writing, so it, it kind of put, put me off, and now the Oakland Public Library is after me to get that book back, so who knows if I'll read it. The last book I want to share is um, Acapella Arranging. This is just marvelous by Deke Sharon and Dylan Bell. Now, I have recorded um, one acapella track on each of my... Um, on CDs and you know learned a fair amount doing that um, but this is just inspiring me to take it to a whole nother level of listening of writing of arranging um, and I also love these guys' point of view they're not um, they're not uh, really egotistical or um, elitist I should say about going to you know music conservatory and that's the only way to do it or you know there's one type of music that's better than another um, and it explains some things about a cappella that I never really understood before, which is, for instance, why it's so tiring to listen to a cappella sometimes because um, you're drawn to the human voice, and so a whole bunch of human voices at the same time can be exhausting. And a, and a, a four-minute pop song could be exhausting for a, a cappella song. It could be a two-minute a cappella song. So I thought that was interesting. Um, the last thing I wanted to just say is that I just love reading... Um, oh, this is... The New York Review of Books, and this just, I just feel like this feeds me and um, constantly gives me ideas, um, such as this article about um, uh, neo-Darwinism and, and um, whether everything reduces down to matter or mind and sort of what's next in the philosophy or in the scientific um, uh, world in terms of explaining our existence and explaining our consciousness. And I actually understood this article. Sometimes I don't understand philosophical things very well. Um, but it also covers, um, you know, just sort of all artists and history and Renaissance artists. And this one has a thing about people who do deep sea diving. And I just love it because I, I can't take the news anymore. 
So here's hoping you are finding some great things to read and please share in the comments and let me know what you're reading and what you like. I love to get tips. All right, thanks and have a good day.